The next question is from Maida from Kashmir, India. How can one become punctual in offering salah? This is a very good question. That how can one become punctual in offering salah? And according to me, each and every Muslim should be very punctual and should take care that they offer salah on time. All the males, all the Muslim males should offer five times salah in Jamaat in the mosque and see to it that they reach the mosque before Akama so that they are in time. How can you do it? Nowadays it's very easy. You have several applications of prayers or salah. You just go to the app store if you have iPhone or go to the Google store if you have an Android and type prayer or salah and there are hundreds of apps available. These apps give you a reminder at the time of Salah and depending upon the app you can even change how many minutes before you want the alarm to go on or go off. As far as I am concerned, I take extra precaution that I should reach the masjid in time not only before Akama but few minutes before so that I can even offer the Sunnah Salah. What I do, though I've got various apps, I prefer keeping alarms. And I keep minimum three alarms for every salah. Based on the adhan of every salah, the five times salah, I put an alarm of five minutes before the adhan time, where I'm staying in Putrajaya in Malaysia. This is the first alarm. Second alarm is at the time of adhan. And the third alarm is few minutes late. The first alarm is an indication for me that whatever work I'm doing, I should stop in the next few minutes, maximum five minutes, so that whatever work I'm doing, I should wind it up. And I see to it that I never pick up any calls. Once the first alarm begins to ring, I do not take any other work. I do not pick up calls. This time is now dedicated to see to it that I reach in time for the most important appointment. The most important appointment is the appointment with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is Salah. So the first alarm is the indication for me that five minutes are left for Adhan. I should wind up what am I doing. I should not take any other new work. The second alarm is on the dot when is the time for Adhan. At that time I leave everything and I go and do my wudu. I go to the washroom, I take about two minutes for that. I do my wudu, that takes another two minutes. Then the third alarm rings, depending upon how much time I require to reach before the akama. Before every salah, there is either two rakat or four rakat sunnah. Before fajr, there is two rakat sunnah. Before zohar and asar, there is four rakat sunnah. Mokada and ger mokada. Before Maghrib and Isha, there are two two rakat. So if there's two rakat, I see to it, I reach at least three minutes before Akama. Because to read two rakat takes about two to three minutes. I know the time I take from my house, going by lift to the mosque, exactly is three minutes. I leave my house four or five minutes before, because sometimes the lift may take one minute to come up, sometimes two minutes. Most of the time, the staff see to it that the lift has already arrived for me, I reach on time. So I leave five minutes plus three minutes before, eight minutes before Akama. My bell rings if I have to offer two rakah sunnah. That is for the Fajr time, for the Maghrib and Isha time. For the Zohar and Asr time where I have to pray four rakat, the alarm rings five plus six minutes, 11 minutes before Adhan time or 10 minutes before Adhan time so that I reach in time for my Salah. When I am living in Putrajaya, the Akama time is 15 minutes after the Azan time. In most parts of the world, it is 20 minutes. So based on that, I do my wudu exactly at the time of Azan. I do my wudu, I go to the washroom, I prepare myself. And if it's four akat I have to read, immediately after wudu, I leave, the alarm rings and I leave the house. If I have to offer two rakat Salah, 
that is for Fajr time, Maghrib and Isha, I may have one or two minutes after doing the wudu. When the alarm rings, I leave so that I'm in time. To be punctual for the salah is very important. See to it that before the akama starts, you should reach the mosque. You have to base the timing depending upon how far is the mosque from your home or from your office place. You do the timing, set the alarm and believe me, you will find a world of a difference. You will find the serenity in your life. You will find the calmness, the peace in your life. Offering salah in jamaat in the mosque on time. And for a practicing Muslim, his full day revolves around salah times. What time he eats depends upon the salah time. What time he meets people depends upon salah time. What time he gives appointments. Everything is related to salah. That if I want to meet someone, it should not last till salah time. I'll give him okay. Come two hours before salah or one hour before salah or immediately after salah is over. And my timetable is everything revolving around salah. So salah is the most important deed that Allah will ask you. The first deed that Allah will ask you on the day of judgment is your salah. So being on time is very important. I have alarm for these five compulsory salah as well as for my tahajjud. Tahajjud is the most important, qayamul layl along with witr. It is the most important salah after the first salah. It's not the maqadah. Then is the two rakah sunnah before the fajr salah. And many people come and tell me that brother Zakir, I pray four times, four times salah on time. But fajr salah, I cannot get up. What should I do? So I ask the person that, suppose you have an appointment. They say that, no, we sleep in the night, but we don't get up and we can't get up. You know, so it's not our fault. I tell him that if you have an appointment early in the morning, maybe one hour before the sunrise, and that appointment is very important for your business. And in that appointment, there are high chances that you will earn a million dollars. So will you be able to get up on time for that appointment? He'll tell me if it's a million dollar, I will not sleep the full night. I said, why? A million dollar? I don't mind staying awake the full night. So I tell him that our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that the two rakah sunnah before the Fajr Salah is more valuable than the earth and the wealth in it. The earth and the wealth in it would be trillions and zillions of dollars. So for a million dollars, you not sleep the full night. A prophet said two rakah sunnah before the Fajr Salah. Imagine what would be the value of the Fajr Salah. So if you know the real essence of the Salah and how valuable it is, there is no question that you will not get up. The problem is because you don't know the value, you are very relaxed. Imagine if you have to go and meet the Prime Minister. What will you do? You will get up early. You will reach before time. You will be dressed up in the best of clothes. Will you be late for the appointment with the Prime Minister? And the answer is no. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala compared to Prime Minister, Prime Minister is nothing. If you have to meet the king, what will you do? The appointment with Allah is the most important appointment of your life. How can you be late? So if you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most powerful, is the most wise, is the most knowing, he is billion trillion countless times better than the king or better than any prime minister or president in the world. So if you have this faith, if you have this belief, inshallah, inshallah, you will see to it that you pray five times salah on time, including a tajjud salah. And if you are punctual, your full life will change, it will be disciplined and alhamdulillah, you will find the peace and serenity and sakina in your life.